Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a little proof of concept of the Kolmogorov Arnold networks. The main idea behind the theorem states that any function, multivariate function, could be expressed as the addition of univariate simpler functions. Uh, the authors do this and they implement the package, Python package, for this purpose. This is the package. Here I made a little toy example to test a regression problem where here I'm just using a squared uh, sine plus cosine of two input variables that just go from minus one to one. And I also do a training and test split to test if after the training it can generalize. This is the definition of the network. And uh, with 2, 4, 1 states two input features, four nodes as the second layer, and one node or one output. Grid 3, um, you should check the paper, but actually states like there are smaller functions that compose each function of each node. K equal 3. Uh, it states the degree of the polynomial of the spline function. And there are other parameters that you should use for regularization, learning rate, etc. After it has trained, you use the model.plot to check the model graph. You can see that there are some nodes that are connected, other nodes, other stronger, darker connections. And with model.prone, we get rid of the connections that are not required. We train again, and we plot the model again. And you can see that the model is simpler now. Here I'm just plotting the prediction against the true labels of the training and testing set. And you can see that uh, the diagonal is filled correctly. Well, not perfectly, but it approximates the diagonal, so it's actually making a good job. Now, the interpretability part. Here, we can see that um, with the auto-symbolic, we use these other operations to see the formula that is being created to get the prediction. And it's going to be this mathematical formula over here. And below, I implemented just yes, the, the same formula that was found by the model over here. I just wrote it with NumPy. And here I made the plot uh, with the math, this, with this formula over here, and the previous predicted values from the model. And the horizontal axis is the real values. And the vertical axis is the predicted values. One more task, classification, using the breast cancer dataset from Scikit-Learn. Here I will skip the parts that I already mentioned. Here is the original plot. I made the pruning. Here is the prunt model. Uh, here the input variables are 30. That's why we have so many nodes in the input. And here we are making the confusion matrix of the training and the testing set. You can see that the diagonal, uh, that is the top left to the bottom right, is filled with higher numbers, with darker colors, which means that actually the model is working pretty well. And we would like the interpretability for this, since it's using 30 variables. The formula is also like gigantic. So that's it. If you would like to contact me, this is my website for a moment, or just write me down. That's it.